Hi, welcome to Tulip 12.1 release demo. I'm Manuel Vesley and I will present some of the features we've developed during the month of October. The first feature I will uh, demonstrate is the ability to put an image as a background image of one project. Let's go to one of my projects. So there I'm in my build my car project and you've already seen in 12.0 that the navigation part of Tulip, the top bar, uh, changed uh, to remove uh, the, the global navigation. In 12.1, in administration, you will find a new entry background and there you have a list and a library of nice images that you can put as a header of your project. Click on save. And now you can see that the image is displayed on the top of my project. And when I go in other part of the administration of my project, the header is there. The header is also displayed on the project dashboard on all the dashboards share the same image. Uh, for 12.1 release, only the dashboard on the project admin displays the image. As you can see, when I go in other services, you will have the default uh, either displayed. In 12.2, all the services will be converted and the image will be displayed everywhere. So in addition to have a really nice picture on uh, more beautiful pages for Tulip, it will be uh, really helpful for teams that uh, move from one project to another to use uh, different images for different projects to have more descriptive, uh, more visual way to distinguish the project. Uh, so they will be able to uh, better know in which project they are when they switch from one uh, tab to another. Let's talk about invite. On the top bar, you can see next to my avatar, there is a new button invite uh, that will appear on all platforms that use local database to authenticate users. That means that uh, this button will not be shown on platforms that use LDAP or OpenID Connect for authentication. This button is displayed on all the pages of the application. And the goal, as you might imagine, is to invite people to join the platform. It takes uh, as an input uh, email, uh, an email address of a user. Let's say I will send an email to manueldemo.example.com and I can uh, add to him some message to uh, help him to understand uh, what it is all about. When I click on send, uh, in the background, Tulip will sort out if the, this email address is already known uh, for the platform and either uh, send an email to create a new account or send an email to inform that someone else uh, ask uh, the person to join. Uh, on the Tulip platform. On the email side, you can see that I've got an invitation to register uh, on a given platform with the message and the link to the register for the user creation. When I'm on the uh, register, I can uh, enter the various information regarding my account and register. It's a regular uh, registration. It means that uh, in order to have a complete account, I need to also activate uh, my account. So I received another email where I can confirm there that I have joined the platform. I can, I will continue, uh, I, I don't need to continue the, the demo of the uh, account creation there. Uh, what I want to show uh, also is that from uh, the sender side, uh, the one who uh, send the invitation, as soon as the account is created uh, by the 
uh, the one who's, who have been uh, invited, uh, the hosts will receive an email so uh, they can move forward and uh, add the new user uh, in their project or contact uh, the new user to, I don't know, create new stuff and all. So this feature is quite useful when you start a new Tulip platform in order to uh, onboard quicker uh, various different users. So it was the most visual feature of 12.1. Uh, I encourage you to look at the release note because there were far more modifications, but not that visual uh, regarding the way O2 apps are managed, uh, regarding the way OpenID Connect and LDAP can work in parallel. Uh, most of the project templates were modified uh, also, small modifications, uh, but uh, they those modifications are worthwhile looking at. And there are also uh, more uh, uh, impactful uh, deprecation message for Internet Explorer usage on uh, Tracker v3. So I strongly encourage that you to uh, look at the Tulip 12.1 uh, release note that you will find on the tulip.org uh, website. Thank you for listening to this demo and uh, see you next month for 12.2 demo.